Welcome to INTC 2020 Lab 8 video. This is what I said for creating and configuring virtual machine storage. For part 1 of Lab 8, we're going to be using PowerShell to create a 30 gigabyte fixed virtual hard disk. We're going to expand our hard disk to 60 gigabytes. We're going to create a generation 2 virtual machine called Hyper Server A and attach the 60 gigabyte virtual hard disk. And then we're going to configure the quality of service with a minimum of 50 IHOPs and a max of 400 IHOPs. For part 2 of lab 8, we're going to be configuring a differencing disk. First thing we're going to do is create a fixed disk called parent, then we're going to create a differencing disk called child, and then point the child disk to the parent disk. And then we're going to verify that the differencing, differencing disk functions properly. For lab 8 part 3, we're going to configure a pass through disk. First thing we're going to do is we're going to open up Hyper B server, and we're going to use the disk part.execute utility to online initialize physical disk and then offline the disk and then we're going to hop over to the Hyper-V manager in workstation A we're going to add the disk to a virtual machine we're going to verify the disk functions on the virtual machine we're going to verify it still appears as offline on the Hyper-V server alright welcome to lab 7 so let's go begin first thing we're going to do is create a new virtual machine specific installation select the ISO file next Let's name this HV server and the location should already be set. Let's see. There we go. Next, store disk single file. Let's do customize hardware. All right, let's go ahead and set this to uh, three gigabytes. Oops. Let's set the number of core processors to three. All right. Close that out. Let's do one last thing. Let's do host only. Alright. Let's do finish installation. Alright. Let's go ahead and launch this up. Installation. Set. Next. Custom. Next. Mm, there we go. Let's go ahead and skip ahead. For part two, we're going to set up a differencing disk on server E. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go into settings. Let's go down to hard drive under SKUSI controller. Let's hit new. What you want to do here is select VHDX. Next, let's do fixed size for this drive. Let's name it parent. There we go. Next, let's do 10 gigabytes as a size. And then hit finish. Okay, so it's going to 
go ahead and create this fixed virtual hard disk. Let's put pause for a second. Okay. <clears throat> there we go. Let's go ahead and hit apply. Okay. So what we're going to do now is go ahead and start server E for testing. Connect. Alright, I'm just going to log into this. There we go. Okay, let's go down here. Let's open up disk management. Okay. First thing we want to do is bring online disk one. Expand this a little bit. Alright, bring it online. Let's go ahead and do some more volume on disk one, which is our fixed disk that is called parent. So let's get next. 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 Okay. There we go. So it is set up. <coughs> the next thing we want to do is disconnect this drive from server E so we can create a differencing disk called child that can point to this parent disk. So let's go ahead and do that real quickly. Actually, let's go ahead and open up this one and let's drop something into this file. Let's go down here and open up some random. Copy it. Boom. Okay, now we have something in the file. Okay, let's go ahead and shut down the server E. Okay, so let's go back to server E settings. Let's go down to SKU's controller and let's remove this drive. Hit apply. Boom. Okay, let's add a new one. PHDX. Okay, here let's select differencing because this is associated with parent child relationships. Next, and let's name this drive child. Next, let's point this to the parents drive. The reason I have made parents is because I made a parent one earlier and I just haven't got around to deleting it, so I just named the parents for now. now. I'm just lazy. Okay, so let's point the parents drive, hit finish, boom. Okay. So now we have the differencing disk called child that points to this parent disk. Okay, so what we're going to do now is test this out. So let's go ahead and start it and connect to it. Alright, let's go back to disk management and server E. <coughs> Let's go ahead and explore. Okay. All right. So in server E, there's a volume right there, and let's explore this. All right. There's a file, and then let's go look at some real quick. Let's see settings. Child, see the the child drive is pointing to the parent drive. So this file right here is actually in the parent drive, but the child drive is only taking files from the parent drive and displaying it. Okay, let's move on to part three. All right, so for part three. What we want to do now is set up a pass-through disk on server E. So, the first thing we want to do is in server, you know what, Hyper-V server, we want to launch disk partition utility. So let's go ahead and type in disk part dot execute. Alright, now uh, give it a second. What we want to do now is list the disk. 
see disk one is the one you want to select. So let's do select disk one. And then you want to type online disk. So let's type that real quick. Okay, the next thing you want to do is you want to convert it to MBR. Just type that out. Convert MBR. And then that will convert it and it will initialize the disk for you. The next thing you want to do is you want to do offline disk. Alright, now let's go over to server E. Alright, in the Hyper-V Manager, go to settings. After you all find the server. Now, right here, on this Goose controller, you want to click add physical hard disk. Let's skip through all these. Then apply. Alright. Now, you're ready for a pass through disk. Now, you want to connect it to server E with the disk management. So, we have online the server. Alright. And then online disk 2. Initialize it. And do a simple volume. And then skip to these. Next, next, next. Hit apply. Let's go ahead and give that a second. Go to explore. And there you go. You have your pass through disk configured for server E. Alright. Part one, we went over creating a 30 gigabyte fixed virtual hard disk. We expanded the virtual hard disk to 60 gigabytes. We created a generation two virtual machine called Hyper B Server A and attached the 60 gigabyte fixed virtual hard disk to it. And then we went over to Hyper V Manager and configured the quality of service with a minimum of 50 IHOPs and a max of 400 IHOPs. Part 2 of Lab A, we configured a differencing disk. First thing we did is create a fixed disk called Parent. Then we created a differencing disk called Child and pointed it to the parent disk. And we verified that the differencing disk functions properly. Alright, and for Part 3 of Lab 8, we configured a pass through disk. We used a Hyper-V server, disk partition utility, <coughs> and then we online initialized the disk 1 physical disk, and then we offline the disk, and then we went over to Hyper-V manager and we added the disk to a virtual machine. We verified that the disk functions on the virtual machine, and we verified that the disk still appears as offline on the virtual machine server.